So today's reflection is about the source of all life, the source of everything that is. Many a culture and nation has conceived of the everything, of what that is, and they've given it names. They've even anthropomorphized it. They've even given it a male and female aspect or energy, which certainly has some, which is certainly an interesting thing. So every person, every tiny particle in the universe is linked like a giant cosmic web. This is something that physicist Nassim Haramein worked on, and he discovered that we can think of it as basically invisible energy waves that make up everything. And uh, he studied that and he showed that there's that type of connection. So his 2023 study it basically says, space isn't empty, it's buzzing with quantum vacuum energy, tiny sparks of energy at the smallest scale, what he calls the Planck scale, and this energy field connects all matter, like a universal Wi-Fi network carrying information. It's fascinating. Also, his holographic universe idea says everything, every tiny piece of the universe holds info about the whole, like a cosmic puzzle. So, so it's wild. It's each proton, each galaxy is part of one big network. So scientists like Van Curen also say that the universe acts like a neural network similar to a brain learning and organizing itself. Galaxies might be like brain cells sharing info across space. So could this field hold consciousness? So Harman thinks a web of information that thinks about itself, kind of like how we're self-aware. So in 2024, he said he's close to a formula for consciousness. Fascinating, truly fascinating that we are in those times where we are now making these kinds of discoveries. So quantum entanglement and particles link up across huge distances hints at this interconnected oneness of, in, of uh, cosmic, the cosmic brain, the cosmic intellect. So, it means that we are all connected, we are all here. So let's try to make something, something good of that.